It's been so long since I posted a video. More than a month. And I just want to give, give an update, but every time I sit down in front of the camera, I don't know what to say. I don't particularly like to use YouTube as a diary. I really like to use it as a platform to discuss trans issues and interact with the community. But I haven't had trans issues so much in my mind lately. I've had a lot of other stuff. A lot of other stuff. And it's been really bad because I've missed... I've just been so busy with so many things since I committed to moving away from Denmark. So busy, it's like I'm trying to fit in everything before I go, which is soon. So I've played a couple of shows with the band, and I had you know, Copenhagen Pride, and just work stuff and social stuff, seeing people for the last time, getting all my stuff in order to go, the logistics. I just had a lot of other stresses on me. And, uh, it's funny. Sometimes I forget I'm a woman. <laughs> like, even when I'm out, I was at work today, and I was looking at a problem with a couple of, of the guys I work with. And one of them was saying, well, when she does this, la 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 la, and when she does that, la 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 la. And I was like, hey, he's using the right pronouns. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> It's like, sometimes it's still a surprise or just a reminder of my gender. I've been in a place lately where um, I haven't been wearing as much makeup as I usually do. I haven't been shaving quite as much as I usually do. Like today, I wore this vest to work today. And um, like my ch I'm covered in chest hair. Like they're, they're thin, but like they're in there. And I guess you can't really see anything in this light. But trust me, they're there. And every time I look down, I go, oh my god, <laughs> it's like King Kong. And no one really notices. And if they do, they don't say anything. So just, I'm in a place where gender is not on my mind so much. And I'm also in a place where my sexuality is not on my mind so much because actually I met somebody, a really amazing person. And I'm sure that all of you are dying to know if this person is a male or a female. Because that's just how humans are. And she is a lovely woman. She is amazing. And I'm crazy about her. And of course I met her after I've committed to leaving this country. And it's just, go figure, you know, go figure. I spend such a long time here looking for someone and just being upset about not being able to find someone. And then finally when I say, fuck it, I'm out of here, here it goes, meet somebody. I've just I've had people prepare me too. I've had I've had friends say, just stop thinking about it. Just stop worrying about finding someone and you'll be fine. You'll meet someone. And it's like finally <laughs> it took me it took me not caring so much to find someone. I don't really know what lessons to take away from that. You know, what is life trying to teach me? Uh I'm really determined to not edit this video so I want to make it just as I don't want to cut it up I just want it to be one long shot but if I don't keep talking the shot will be too long and silent and awkward so I have to keep going in order to make it uh, a cinematic experience.
I think that I'm beginning to understand how much harder gender transition would be the older you are. Because I feel like making this move back to the States from Denmark is about ten times harder than making the move over here. And it's only been like two years, two and a half years, so I'm, that's what's going on there. Um, and I don't understand, it just seems like it's harder now to break up the, the, the life that I've established, even though it's been a life that has not been satisfactory completely for me. Um, it's a life that I've established. And so, ending it is extremely taxing. And maybe it was easier last time because I moved here like at the apex of my coming out to myself the very beginning stages of my transition, so I had already shaken up my life so much that it seemed like, well, living in a new country, it's not that different. Like, you know, all the other stuff that's going on, sure, why not, let's move. And I was also coming into a job here. And um, now things just aren't quite as, I don't know, it's been more established here, being here and, and just halting that establishment. It's been more difficult than I thought. But if you think about, I, I, I mean, if you think about it from an evolutionary perspective, it, you ask the question, why is this behavior conducive to the furthering of our species? And I guess you could argue that the longer one person has survived, any given person has survived with a certain lifestyle, the more likely it is that they will continue to survive by keeping up that lifestyle. So I could see that being an like a a built-in aversion to huge change like this. I don't really know, but I do find exploring the subject completely fascinating. But I don't think I have anything more interesting to say, so yeah, I'm still here, I'm still around, I'm still kicking, I'm just super busy, and uh, Keep your eyes on Tranny Star Galactica because I'm going to do a catch-up this week. I'm going to talk about lots of different topics. Um, plus, Tranny Star Galactica is a great channel. <laughs> you should all watch it. So, I will see you there. And I will see you next time.